another layout and let's see if I can get this straight. Today I am um, actually merging two pages that I've seen on Pinterest. I'm kind of basing one of them off of this one. Let me see if you can see. Okay. And then the other one is, this is going to be the right side. And this one, I'm going off of for the left side. So let's get started. And I decided that um, my last video was entirely too long. I didn't like it that long. So I did prepare some things beforehand. This is the paper we're going to use. The Bow Bunny Snow Day. Um, as you know, all my stuff is pretty old because I stopped scrapbooking for about a year. Uh, this one's from two 2012. And I got a few things together here, just in case. I don't know what I'm going to use. I do know I'm going to stamp. And these are in my stash from eons ago. They're going to be perfect. So we'll see what happens. I didn't cut anything, but I did pick out the papers that I'm going to use because that's usually the hardest part for me. I'm going on a white background. And here we go. Let the cutting begin. I may or may not fast forward this, so I think I'm going to cut these at two and a quarter. Should give me the right amount of space because I think I'm going to put on a little border. So um, a border, a mat to make it more cohesive with the left side these for the right side. So I do think I'm going to distress those, but I'm going to do the cutting for the left side. Um, here's the pictures that I'm going to use. I'll show you that first. Let's lay these out a little bit. Okay, so for this side, and they'll all be touching kind of like this. Okay? And I'll probably do something down here, and I did make some snowflakes and everything already. And then for the left side, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use these. Okay. This hat is so cute on her. It's an elephant hat. <laughs> I made that for her. So cute. Anyway. And I made some snowflakes to go along with this yesterday. They needed to have some glitter on them to be snowflakes, so I did do that up yesterday. And I do have some snowflake ribbon. Let's see if I can get this wrapper off. Okay, so I have this snowflake ribbon as well. We'll see if that gets used. I have some. have these as well. I used the top note die. I thought that I would put these here. They may get cut down a little bit. So they're more like this. I think I like that better. So now I need to decide. I used four papers on the one side. And I'm going to make this a four and a half. And eleven. No, ten. I'm 
move these out of the way. So we'll get the cutting done and get the general idea and then I'll do my distressing away and then come back. Let's see. This one I want it to be um actually I think I want to make this piece a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with the 11 that I wanted to go with in the first place. And what did I make it before? Four and a half. We'll move these off. All of these are going to get matted with um, chocolate cardstock, which is this one. Um, well, it's not chocolate. I'm not sure what color it is. It looks like a basil paper, though. I thought I was using chocolate with from close to my heart. <laughs> I seem to be out of it, though. So I think I'm going to make this one four and a half as well. Um, I need it to be this way. This might be too tall. <laughs> no, I cut it wrong. That's all right. Okay, and then, let's see. I think I'm only going to use three on this side, even though I used four on the other side. Those dots are just a little bit much for me. I'm going to make this one five by nine. Alright, so I'm going to distress all of the pieces I just cut, and I will come back. Zetter distress it all <clears throat> to distress all my pages and now I'm going to mat them so I'm going to get my brown out here so what I'm going to do is just give them a very thin mat I might even just attach them and cut the whole thing uh, we'll see. So. Now I can probably do cutter. Um, let's do this. Okay, that 
that's okay. So <clears throat> what's going to happen with this one come here I made a title I don't know if I want it on that. Let's move this over, see what that looks like. Of course, they had to be glittered. Let's do this. And this will probably be on foam tape. The rest will be flat. I like that. Okay. <clears throat> pictures oh wait I have to cut I have to cut that down I think we've got room to cut both of those down a little bit Let's do that. There we go. Mess that one up a little bit. That better. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm going to adhere this down and I will be right back. All right, so I have everything adhered down and I started playing around with some embellishments so you didn't have to watch me do that. <laughs> um, but what I have here, those, uh, that top note die that I cut out and then cut in half I ended up cutting a piece of that off oh here's the other half I cut a piece of that off of the other half I thought that I might put it right here this picture I ended up um, I put on foam tape and it didn't pop out enough so then I matted it in this color and then put more foam tape on the back and I like it much better I cut some strips from my scraps. I think this might need some foam tape. But I thought I would do that right here. I might want to cut this one down a little, I think. Oh, I don't know. 
This is the hardest part for me. Let's go like that. That's all right. All right. I am going to stick that down. Come here. If I can pick it up. And all I did with this is, if you've ever seen the top note die, it has uh, a perforation, a perforated outline around it. And all I did was follow that line with my white gel pen. Okay. Get on there. And a little more. Okay. I'm back to using my phone again. I think I figured out, hopefully, I figured out how to make it stop focusing. We'll find out once we edit this. Um... I have this too, but I thought that two words too close together might might not look right. Or two things with words, I should say. But I'm not quite sure where to put them on this one. Maybe I won't. Hmm. Let's see. I think we'll just leave it like this for now and start working on the other page. I'm going to clean some of this up here. So that I can think again. Okay, we'll let that We'll let that um, set aside for a while just so I can think about it. All right, so for this side, I think I'm going to end up putting some snowflake stamps here, but let's see what happens. Let's see. Scoot that over a little. Can you hear my clock ticking? <laughs> That's so annoying to me when I'm making videos and I forgot to take it down today. All right, let's separate this a little bit more. And the snowflakes that I made for this page are just going to be scattered all over the place. And I did dig out some buttons and brads for that. Let's see. They don't stand out very well. They'll probably get foam tape as well. Okay, so I'm going to take these stamps. And these are all the stamps that most of the stamps that I have are close to my heart stamps. Um, and I've got them all apart. Oh, how do I say that? Um, so I my phone turned off again. It. I love it when that happens. That's all right. You just missed me playing around. I did end up stamping um, with my close to my heart stamps, and I did tell I was I was telling you that I 
I don't keep them in their packages. I keep them started separating them, I should say. Um, and I put them in a binder like this, and I sort them like this is winter. So everything that has to do with winter, winter words, winter snowflakes, winter whatever, holidays, and then um, this one's spring. So everything that has to do with spring, uh, I just put them on, what is it, shrink film? So that's all that, it's all that you missed is what I was, I told you how I separate everything out. So then I did put some brads and buttons and so now we're to the point where I was going to um, adhere it all down and come right back. Okay, I'm back, and I just realized, I say, it's not the first time I've realized it, I say okay a lot, and I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to, I've decided I want to put some lines around the outside. Might be time for me to invest in some new pens, especially these brown ones. I use them all the time. Okay, let's have a look now. What do we think? I think I like it. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. I think I like it a lot. There's a lot of sparkle. I don't know if you can see it. Sparkle here, sparkle here. Okay, that is going to be done. I will put some journaling on there. Probably like that. All right. That is going to be the end. Let's see if I can zoom this in a little. Okay, that's the layout. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.